Understanding Turkey and Stuffing, a Feast for Language Learners. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a delicious part of English language and culture, the phrases, turkey and stuffing. This isn't just about food. It's about tradition, celebration, and the English language wrapped up in one cozy package. Stay tuned as we unwrap the meanings and context behind these phrases. First up, let's break down the basics. Turkey is a large bird native to North America, traditionally served as the main course during certain American and Canadian holidays, especially Thanksgiving and Christmas. Stuffing, on the other hand, is a mix of breadcrumbs or cubes, herbs, and spices, and sometimes sausage or fruit, cooked inside the turkey or separately. Together, they symbolize festive feasts and family gatherings. Why are turkey and stuffing so important in English-speaking countries, particularly the United States and Canada? Well, Thanksgiving is a holiday celebrated to give thanks for the harvest and blessings of the past year. Turkey and stuffing are at the heart of this tradition, representing abundance and gratitude. During Christmas, these dishes also play a central role, highlighting themes of generosity, sharing, and celebration. The phrase, turkey and stuffing, goes beyond the dinner table. It has permeated English language and culture, sometimes used metaphorically to represent anything that's full to the brim or overly stuffed. For example, someone might say, I'm as full as a turkey with stuffing, after a big meal, indicating they can't eat another bite. Curious about how turkey and stuffing are made? Though recipes vary, the essence is in preparing the turkey for roasting and mixing the stuffing ingredients before either filling the turkey or cooking it separately. This process is often a communal activity, bringing families and friends together in the kitchen. We hope this video has given you a taste of the rich cultural and linguistic flavors behind turkey and stuffing. Whether you're feasting on these dishes during a holiday or simply exploring English language and culture, remember that language learning is not just about words. It's about understanding the traditions and stories that those words convey. Thank you for watching, and we hope you join us for more language explorations.